So the Salmo Butcher, it's a law you might have heard of, it's a law you might have used, and if you have used it, it's a law you've probably caught on as well. It does, unfortunately, get a little bit overlooked, this law, because of the popularity and the, the brilliant design of the Salmo Hornet. It's a very similar law, it's a crankbait, it's around about the same size, it's available in floating and sinking. They're five centimetres long, uh, I think the sinking version is seven grams, the floating version is five grams, so it sits perfectly within that crankbait style of the Hornet. So a lot of people go, well, I'll just, I'll just buy the Hornet instead. What you're missing out on there though, is the action of the Butcher. Now, if you look at the profile of the Butcher, let me just hold it this way so you can see it a little bit better. It's, it's different to the Hornet. On the side, from a side view, it's, it's a little bit different to the Hornet, but on the front profile, it's very different. Whereas with the Hornet, you've got a bulbous front end. With the Butcher, you've got it's much slimmer, you've got um, straighter sides. So what happens is you get a slower wiggle and you'll see with the Hornet, it's absolutely manic. The, the water, when it rushes around the sides of it, give it a really, really tight and aggressive, fast wiggle. With the Butcher, it's a little bit more considered. It's a little bit slower. So that difference will key into to the different uh, things that the predators are looking for on the day. So in terms of a change bait. So if you're fishing hornets and if you want something a little bit slower that's got a different action that the fish are after, the butcher is the one to go for. Or just fish, fish the butcher just on a session, give it a go, see what you think because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. If you notice on the butcher they've got a very narrow and quite a small diving bib on there so the angle of that doesn't take them particularly deep which is why we've got a sinking version as well. If you want to work them a little bit deeper fish the sink inversion, get it down to where you want it to be and then work it. So cranking it down with the floating, you know, you're looking at shallower shallower uh, venues or where the fish are up in the water, especially for chub. I mean, this is a brilliant chub lure, but perch as well. Or pike, you know, in the shallower weedier bays or whatever, run this past the weed bed with a, uh, a wide trace on and, the, and the, the pike will smash it. But like I said, if you're fishing a, a, a deeper venue and want to get that slower wiggly action in there, go for the sinking, count it down and then start working it. But for me, the floating version is the one to start with. Give that a go, see how you get on and then move on to the, the sinking version. Brilliant lure. If you, if you are fishing crankbaits, you should check out the butcher for sure. Give it a go.